Welcome to another course review. This time we're going to be talking about Antonio Brandi's ROS2 Manipulators course on Udemy. So let's start with uh, kind of what you get out of the course, what to expect, and then I will end with a little bit of a demo. Um, so first off, this is what we're talking about, Robotics and ROS2 Learned by Doing Manipulators. Um, I've taken a few of his courses so far and they've been really good. If we go into VS Code, what you're going to find is a, a pretty broad code base that's going to cover, you know, basically building out the URDF uh, or the model of the robot, learning how to do messaging in ROS2, learning how to do uh, publishers and subscribers, uh, learning about how to put all those things together in launch files. It's a really good comprehensive walkthrough of ROS2. Um, you know, the uh, he basically does like a full coding walkthrough of all these things. So this is a this is a you know code along style of course. So you're going to get some theory, and then you're going to get you know him kind of typing these things out along with you, or you typing it out along with him. Uh, everything offered is in both Python and C There are a few places where only Python or only C is supported for a particular use case, but for the most part, you know, he's going to run through the, the full build out for both Python and C, depending on what you're interested in building in. Um, and then at the very end of the course, you hit a, uh, a point where you're going to work with Arduino, with, uh, the Arduino, um, and he'll do kind of a walkthrough of how to code out the Arduino interface to, uh, move motors. What he doesn't actually cover at the very end is building the robot. Um, I've seen from some comments that he's made that he's working on that part and that that's, uh, that's kind of a coming soon type of feature, but, uh, but there is no robot build. So what you're going to get at the end of the course is you're going to get a parts list. Uh, you'll get some STL files. It does require a 3D printer in order to uh, to print out the parts that you're, you know, to construct your robot. Um, but uh, but at the end, what you will have with a with a little bit of um, personal perseverance is a successful little uh, machine that can do, you know, sort of basic movement. So what you're seeing up here is the uh, Arviz representation of the robot with move it integration. And you can see, I can kind of move the robot to a new position and then hit plan and execute. And the physical robot is going to try to get to that new position. If I move over here, I can hit plan and execute again. And again, the physical robot is going to try to move where I'm sending it. If I kind of extend it here, let's see if it'll do it. Hey, there we go. And then finally, if I come over here, eh, let's pull that back. I can hear the motors straining a little bit. A lot of the uh, a lot of the challenge I found taking this one is that uh, it's definitely it's definitely not trivial to get all of the joints set up in alignment with the simulator. Um, you know, this isn't like uh, going and putting together a robot kit that's, you know, everything's aligned perfectly because it's a kit because somebody built it for you. Um, even though you are given the parts and can print them out and, you know, it's it's fairly packaged, um, it really is, uh, there, there's some work required to make sure that everything moves the way you're expecting it to. When I first put this together, you know, the, the joints were going in the wrong directions. Um, you know, it, it was not, it was not easy to go from, uh, the simulated robot working to the simulated robot controlling the physical robot. Um, and that's okay. Honestly, if it had been super simple, um, it probably wouldn't have been as interesting of a project. You know, that was a good point to say, hey, we've got the code now. You know, he's helped put together the, the full um, code base that you can use to, to control your simulated robot. And then now uh, you get to go and, and do it on a physical robot. And it's, it's definitely a really good learning opportunity. Um, so types of movement covered. You know, obviously I'm sitting here moving it around in the UI and that's controlling the uh, the physical robot. Uh, there's also a move it interface, a move it uh, API that he kind of walks through. 
um, to to do these types of controls. Here I can go ahead and open the, the grippers a little bit. Um, and then uh, the Alexa integration, which ties into that Move It interface. So overall, I'd say if, uh, if you're interested in an introduction to Ross and you want to get started with something that's, you know, a robot arm, a manipulator, this is a really good course to start out with. Um, if you're, you know, expecting something that's going to be advanced and go pick objects up and things like that, you're probably, you've probably got a lot of code to build on top of what he's going to provide. And that's okay too. You know, you're going to get a code base that lets you, you know, work with and, and build out your robot. Um, you're not going to get some fully, ad, you know, this is, this is not an autonomous robot arm at the, at, at this point. Um, now, I am probably, maybe not with this particular robot arm model, um, but in the future, I'm going to try to put together some videos, you know, showing how to do things like reinforcement learning with real robots. Uh, that's one of my goals. It's not something I've got out there yet, but uh, but it is going to be a target over the next year or so. So uh, just starting to get into sort of the physical robot side of things myself. I will continue to post both my own projects and then about courses and things you find interest or that I find interesting um, to help you guys along. Um, and then finally, just a reminder: never pay more than fifteen or twenty dollars for a course on Udemy. Um, this says seventy nine ninety nine. If you go and sign up for Udemy, uh, not their not their annual plan, just a regular you know Udemy get an account. Um, and then wait, usually within a week, uh, that price is going to be $12.99, $14.99. Um, you know, sometimes it'll be as high as $20. Um, but, but the normal price for a course on Udemy is about $15. They like to do this, you know, game of jacking prices up and then doing sales constantly. Um, it is what it is. Just, just play the game. And, uh, and hang out for a few days and get the sale price. I've gotten courses that are usually hundreds of dollars for 15 or 20, and, uh, and it is definitely worth just watching and waiting a few days and getting these things on sale. So great course, definitely something I recommend. I will put the link in the video description. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you get to dive in and have some fun with, uh, with robots. Until next time.